see now the basics of electrolysis. Now there is a definite relationship between electricity and chemistry. See we know the fundamental structure of an atom. <coughs> inside the nucleus there are positive kind of particles which are protons neutrons do not carry any charge while in the orbits or shells electrons are there the number of positive charges that is protons present inside the nucleus will be equal to the number of negative charges that is the number of electrons present in the various orbits now the flow of electricity basically is the flow of electrons when we are considering metals. Let us consider for example say copper metal. Okay. Now it is having these free electrons which are present in the outermost shell which are responsible for flow of electricity which are responsible for flow of electric current. Same way, uh, just right now we had considered formation of sodium chloride that is NaCl. Here there are positive kind of particles that is sodium ions. There are negative kind of particles that is chloride ions. These positive kind of particles we call them cations and the negative kind of particles we will call them anions okay now when it is in the solid state this sodium chloride these particles are very strongly held together by the force of attraction which is known as electrostatic force of attraction okay under normal conditions these particles will not be free to move at all but suppose if you take it to a very high temperature say its melting point for sodium chloride the melting point is 891 degrees celsius so at this temperature if you take this nacl to the melting point then in these conditions this nacl will get split up that is na plus will be freed from Cl minus the forces of attraction are overcome by supplying this much high amount of energy that is very high temperature so Na plus and Cl minus get split up and these are free to move anywhere because they are getting converted into liquid state and because here we have melted this state is known as molten state liquid state when it is melted this state is known as molten state that is melted state okay of course you can separate Na plus and Cl minus simply by dissolving it in water simply yeah you can dissolve it in water and uh, you can obtain it in a state that is known as aqueous state in aqueous state you can dissolve them in water that will be in presence of H2O but in molten state only Na plus and Cl minus ions will be there remember there will be no water in that case that is in molten state but when you dissolve it in water then also Na plus and Cl minus get separated because water molecules help in splitting them up this state is known as aqueous state when I am dissolving it in water and that's not molten. yeah this is molten now once these Na plus and Cl minus are there if I am using a certain kind of a vessel in which I am having these Na plus and Cl minus ions okay I am using here two rods which will be good conductors of electricity one is connected to the positive terminal of the battery which is represented with a longer line the other one is represented with a shorter line which is going to be the negative terminal of the battery and of course here the switch is there okay the positive electrode over here we will call it anode 
the negative electrode that is there we will call it cathode remember here for anion and cation it is opposite anode is positive plus and anion cathode is the negatively charged electrode and cation is the positive ion okay i'll just repeat this once again anode is a positive electrode while anion is a negative ion cathode is a negative electrode while cation is a positive ion now in this case out of na plus and cl minus can you tell me which is anion and which is cation cation so na plus is cation yeah. and cl minus is anion the negatively charged ion when you start passing electric currents you know that always opposite kind of charges attract each other so the positive electrode will always attract the negative ion so anion will always get attracted towards anode, anode. and cation will always get attracted towards cathode, cathode. because negative will get attracted towards positive positive will get attracted towards negative okay now this will happen once you start the passage of current okay when you are passing the current at that time these electrodes will attract opposite kind of charged particles that is ions so now what is going to happen at these place see now this is anode that is a positive electrode and cl minus is there now because of electricity what happens this cl minus is there it loses an electron and it becomes cl atom see initially for cl minus the electronic configuration is 288 because of electricity it forces and removes the electron from cl minus converting it into cl atom this is exactly opposite what is happening in a chemical reaction in a chemical reaction what is happening the electron is getting transferred from na to cl now here it is opposite way the electron is removed from cl and it is returned back to sodium this is exactly opposite thing that is happening so here this is the negative ion that is anion so it will get attracted towards anode so forcibly due to electricity that extra electron which was gained by chlorine because of chemical reaction forcibly that electron is removed yeah. and then it is getting transferred to sodium what is going to happen exactly at the cathode now cathode you know is a negative electrode so cation will get attracted towards it cation is going to be the positive ion the positive ion over here is any plus now here we are going to have electronic configuration 28 one electron gets added over here it becomes na now its electronic configuration becomes 281 this is exactly opposite what is happening what we had done in formation of sodium chloride in formation of sodium chloride the electron was getting transferred from na to cl now here the electron is removed from cl and the electron is getting added to na okay so at the respective electrodes there will be formation of chlorine gas and there will be formation of sodium metal now this chlorine cannot exist as single atom so two chlorine atoms will combine together and will form chlorine gas this is a solid metal that is getting deposited i can show you the overall reaction like this NaCl is there okay there will be no diagram uh, for electrolysis this is in the molten state and you are passing electric currents you will get sodium okay which will get deposited at cathode you will get chlorine gas which will be be liberated at anode you can balance the equation cl is 2 over here you can make this 2 and you can make